Start streaming. <laughs> the event is starting. The event is starting. I think we're live. Are we live? Are we live internet? Let us know in the comments. I love the starts of, of these things. Every single one on every single live stream. It doesn't matter how big the YouTuber, those guys way up there, or the, little, the first live stream. It's always the most awkward thing, the most awkward start ever. So this is great. Hi, everybody. <laughs> Can everybody see us and hear us OK? Oh, hello, Jason. So live. <laughs> yes. So live. <laughs> Yeah, well, we've got uh, a pretty exciting uh, live stream because, oh my. Sorry, I'm watching Ryan's live stream right now. <laughs> it's also yours. Oh, our um, <laughs> stream. Everybody, oh yeah, everybody's coming into the stream. That's awesome. Yeah, we are going to go uh, through some of our top picks for the Lone Ranger Evo Link contest submission. And they were, there were a ton. I think it was somewhere, it was over 100 that came through in, in just a week. And people put in so much work into this and it was really cool. It was also really um, strange sometimes when like you have someone like acting exactly like you. It was really, it was really cool, but I've weird. never really had that before. And you're just sort of like, this is weird. <laughs> but yeah, it's pretty, it's pretty awesome. So, and then, you know what? One of the biggest things as we were like going through all the clips and choosing our favorites and photos, um, it, one of the things we said was it's really cool to actually see all your faces. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Because everyone's always showing up as comments, uh, whether it's on YouTube or Instagram or whatever. But then like through this contest, I got to see so many of you and like the place where you live and the trails where you ride and the bikes you ride and like your kids and stuff. <laughs> like it was, it was really cool. So uh, this was like, yeah, this was so awesome. Oh, hey, Trail Features, thanks for the five bucks, man. That's awesome. After watching the entries, I conclude we all won because we got to enjoy some Mint videos. Yes, yes. absolutely. <laughs> and cheers to you. Hey, by the way, um, Joe from Trail Features, this is, oh, cheers. <laughs> this is the, the whiskey that you got for us. So extra mm -hmm. special cheers there. And it is such a good rye whiskey. It is the best rye whiskey I've ever had in my life. No joke. I can't oh, say I've actually ever had another rye whiskey, but it's really good. You've had a rye, yeah, it's really <laughs> well, good. I've had like Alberta rye, but yeah, it's whatever like, that it's is. It's kind of different. I don't know. Nathan Wheeler, cheers, man, for the Thank $10 you. super chat. Thank you so much, man. I, we have been talking nonstop about getting out and riding with you guys again this year, so we cannot wait to, to make that happen. Hopefully going to get out to the poker rally out at Baseline Mountain. Baseline Mountain is like the closest mountain to us. I think it's like two hours or something like that. And um, I did two videos on it, and it was just one of the steepest trail experience I've had, and it was on snow and ice, and it was crazy. So I can't wait to get back out there in June, I think. Yeah, like first week of June, I think it was. First to, or second. Um, yeah, some redemption on that mountain. It needs to happen <laughs> for sure. Mm. Really, really good whiskey. I love that stuff. And you know what's interesting is that I love this rye. And our favorite, I would say both of our favorite bourbon, correct me if I'm wrong, is Elijah Craig. Well, it's my favorite bourbon. Well, it's definitely, it's I my favorite it's bourbon yours, too. I but it's mine. Yeah. <laughs> Elijah Craig 12 year. They don't make the 12 year anymore. But then our other one, when we're going for like a cheaper bourbon, but one that's still really good is Evan Williams. Mm -hmm. And I just found out the other day watching a whiskey YouTube channel that this one and Evan Williams and Elijah Craig are all made by this, this uh, distillery called Heaven Hill. So it's like whatever they make. Apparently we know what we like. Yeah, we know whatever what we like. They like. Whatever they make. Is so what that's we pretty like. cool, actually, yeah. Yeah. Anyways, <laughs> getting slightly distracted here. <laughs> We've become a whiskey channel, so. Yes, this is all about whiskey. <laughs> so where's everybody coming in from tonight? I want to see all the different countries. Because I know this is kind of like not the most opportune time to be live streaming, but. Yeah. Because I know a lot of you are in bed at this time or are just about to head to bed. From Japan, Tomb wow. Rider. Ooh, I like that name too. That's cool. Joshua Ryan asks, which is the one you are drinking right now? This is the rye, and it's like, I really wish I could remember that it's Pike. Pike Hill, is it? A, no, no, it's Pike something. And I can't remember. I, I have to go downstairs and grab the bottle, but it's, yeah, it's really good. It's the one rye that Heaven Hill makes, so you can look that so up. It's we'll <laughs> Pike Hill. All right, we got... New Zealand, New Zealand, Los Angeles, Utah, California, Calgary, Alberta represent, Ontario, Victoria, Edmonton, 
What's up, Calvin? Pike Creek. YEG. Pike Creek. There you go. Uh, Peru. Awesome. I got to get down there again. Fort Saskatchewan, not too far away. Ontario, Florida. Man, all over the place. All over. Indiana. Lots of Alberta. Lots That's of pretty cool. Florida. Yeah. Airdrie. Calgary. Did you ever say yeah. Calgary? Canada's representing tonight. That's awesome. Good to see everybody. And lots of lots of Canada entries into this too, and a few from my hometown of Edmonton as well. Bellingham, New York, sweet. New Zealand. Yeah. So as we're just kind of waiting for a few more people to come into the stream, um, yeah, a couple of things. One, I want to know what your guys' summer mountain bike plans are, and we are just piecing ours together now, and I feel like we're starting to get things locked in. We're starting like, to. For sure, Whistler <laughs> opening weekend will be there so i hope you guys are too it's kind of the place to be uh that's usually like big announcement we'll be at whistler yeah big announcement we'll be at whistler this year <laughs> mind-blowing um yeah so i think that's like may 15th or 16th or something like that it's usually like that second week of may and then um where else are we gonna be i want to go to revelstoke and hang out with the guys from wandering wheels we got some possible plans with them in june and uh yeah, I mean, there's just so, as soon as summer hits, like during like the fall, late fall and winter, it's all about taking planes and, and going to, to ride places. But the moment it gets to spring or summertime, like <laughs> why would we go anywhere? Like we're next to BC and Alberta is so good too. So we're planning on, you know, sticking to our core base of trail networks yeah. here and, and uh, bike parks and stuff like that. So it should be pretty awesome. What are your guys' plans? Whitefish. Yeah, I want to go to go check out Whitefish in Montana. It looks really interesting. Mm -hmm. Apparently their um, their trail network's supposed to be awesome as well as their bike park. Highland Mountain Bike Park, for sure. Gonna ride on the moon, casual MTB Where's rider. Highland Mountain Bike Park. Uh, that's kind of like eastern United States. Okay. Yeah, it's pretty cool. I'd like to go there one day. West Bragg, Husky, Moose Mountain, BC Road Trip. Yeah, that sounds pretty similar to us actually. Yeah. Oh, and I really want to get to um, Sea Otter. Is anybody else going to Sea Otter? Last year, like anytime I think Sea Otter, I just think like a bunch of tents on like a, in a dusty parking lot. And I've always been like, well, I don't know why I'd go to Sea Otter. But then last year, everybody went to Sea Otter and they all had a really good time. And it's, I didn't realize how close it was to Santa Cruz too. And I love Santa Cruz for riding. So I think I'm going to do Sea Otter okay. this year. We'll see. I don't know. I'm not. <laughs> <laughs> hey, Jason, how's it going, man? Casual MTB is going to Sea Otter. That's good. Mount Swansea. Yeah, yeah, that's the first place we're going to be going when, when spring hits for sure. Edmonton Single Track. Yep. I'll be hitting some of that too. Definitely. Definitely. Valmont. I still have yet to go to Valmont. There's just so much good riding. This is great. Yeah, there's no shortage for sure. So, um,. Yeah, I've got another, you know what, so here's some exciting news for, uh, we're going to give it one more minute before we dive into showing everybody all these videos. Um, oh, Trail Feature said he had to pick Sedona over Sea Otter. I, that's I fine. I feel like that's fair. Yeah, that's totally fair. <laughs> <laughs> I really, my, I, I did have plans to actually go to the Sedona Mountain Bike Festival, and I guess technically it could still happen if, if some miracle happened, but um, as of now, <laughs> probably not. I don't think I can do it because that's coming up soon. Uh, let's see. Okay, so we are we we have an announcement to make, and it'll probably be in a couple of weeks. But we signed two official sponsors for the, two more official sponsors for this year, and um, I w we'll do a little sticker contest. How about that? It would be cool to see you guys guess who these two, uh, and you don't even have to guess both of them. If you get one of them right. Um, Go over to, because I can't have you posting it into the chat and then me giving it away because I have to wait for this official announcement video to actually make them public. But if you were to go onto our Instagram account, the Lone Ranger account, which is Lone underscore Ranger underscore MTV, send me a private message and tell me who you think it is. I will give you a hint. Both companies um, supply things that we wear. Too big of a hint. <laughs> no, there's that's so wide open. So whoever guesses right first, it's the first person I see in those private messages over Instagram that guesses it right, we'll send you guys a mm. premium sticker pack. That means 
the extra stickers, the and bigger it, stickers. And if you guess in the chat here, it doesn't count. So yeah, if you guess in the maybe chat. Maybe even a disqualification. I, I don't know. I like. won't say anything. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. But yeah, let us know uh, in Instagram Messenger, and then uh, we'll send you some stickers. Time for another sip. This stuff is so good. We've it's, been sponsored by plaid shirts. Yes. yes. <laughs> we should, yeah. That should be a requirement for all companies, apparel companies that would like to sponsor us. There has to be a plaid shirt situation going on. Fruit of the Loom underwear. <laughs> <laughs> all right, beside, cheers, man. Thank you. Really appreciate the videos, especially the GoPro settings. You help me make my edits much better. Keep up the good work. Well, that's awesome to hear. Thank you so much. Nice. There has been such a good response from that GoPro video. Yeah. I really, it's really made me want to do more of that this year and uh but it's all it's it's kind of one of those tricky things because i know like people ask me about camera stuff all the time and they like that video and part two of that video um but yeah like how much camera stuff can i show on a mountain biking channel it would definitely be mountain biking related but yeah let me know what you what think what kind of camera stuff would you want to see yeah learn about because that's the thing like whether you'd want like more gopro like how to stuff or how I edit a whole video together possibly, or third person shooting, um, kind of like what we did with Pole over in Madeira. Uh, honestly, we're kind of more just getting our feet wet in that end of things. Like <laughs> I can I can sort of rely on like where to put, you know, click the buttons on the camera. But beyond that, like the guys who really do the, the real mountain bike videography, they're so good. Mm -hmm. Like they're so far, they're just so far beyond anything that I could comprehend right now. Like mm -hmm. Scott Secco and those guys. I should, actually we were talking about this. I should get Scott Secco on camera and show us how he does it. That's what we should do. That's Scott. Scott, we should do that. Teach Scott's me. not watching. <laughs> <laughs> but if he was, that would be pretty neato. Mm -hmm. Hey, regular guy mountain biking. How's it going, man? Oh, see you later, trail features. Get back to editing. I think I know the the video that you're editing. Can't wait to see it can't wait to see it and actually the reason why he sent me the, re the reason why trail features sent me this whiskey is because i let him borrow one of our 360 cams for a while uh for a test that he's putting together so i hope that's coming out soon because i'm really interested in that test all right so let's see here i'm going to just check something oh you're on your phone at the same time we can't oh, do that that's awkward entertain entertain um <laughs> <laughs> yeah ah. entertaining is not my strong suit i mean i am on a youtube channel but all right well done that was great that was good great. job i filled that good time. work okay <laughs> i believe it is time to start going through some of our top selections now i will say that there were a couple of entries that we actually really liked and we have tagged on the back end of things as like oh this is this is a good one that that could possibly make it mm -hmm. but i don't think i could play it because of music rights issues and mm -hmm. i should have mentioned that before so a channel like ours if we start playing video with with a copyrighted song that we didn't pay for youtube freaks out and pounces on us and yeah it's not it's not good news <laughs> so there are a couple that i may or may not be able to play but let's um Let's see if this works. Okay, this whole scene selection thing, I'm using this software program called OBS and I know nothing about it and I'm gonna flip the scene, here we go. <laughs> Did that work? Can you now see a web page <laughs> instead of our face? Well, just our face way down in the bottom. Let me know if that's working for you guys. I guess I'll look on the chat, sorry. <laughs> I'm totally on it. Um, All right. Yep, it's working. Sweet, let's do it. All this was so last minute. So last minute. Okay. As far as setting this up. All right, so now a bunch of these are photos and those will obviously show up fine, but a bunch of them are videos. And I know that it is going to be a brutally awful experience for everybody watching these because and I saw the guys on uh, IFHT, or Mahalo My Dude, um, do a live stream where they play videos back, and it was really smooth, and the audio was like good. And I have no idea how they do that. So what we're doing is a screen grab, and the audio is gonna be coming out of our iMac and into a microphone that's just like here. Mm -hmm. So it's gonna be 
it's going to be bad. If you want to, ooh, that was like very Donald Trumpish when I did this. <laughs> I've been watching too much like late night TV. It's going to be the best. <laughs> um, <laughs> He um, loves Donald Trump. Oh. <laughs> Not a political channel. Um, so <laughs> when we uh, when we go and uh, watch these, I'm guessing the audio is not going to be in sync. So if you do want to see the, the videos in all their glory, make sure you go and uh, search for hashtag Lone Ranger Evo Link and you can check out the proper things there. So uh, it's a tricky thing to keep track of all of these screens, including comments. Ooh, okay. whoa, I'll lots keep, coming in. I'll keep the comments rolling. All right. I'll stay on it. IFHC are AV wizards, and there's like a team of them going on. I would like a team. Yeah, let's I'm your I'm your team. Let's get a team. <laughs> <laughs> We've got Casey and Tom. Yeah, they're good at. All stuff. right, all right. So we had a lot of entries, and um, they were all so great. Um, just seeing anybody putting time into it, it was really awesome. It was really inspiring. All the, all the work that everybody put in. As we were watching, we just kept saying to ourselves, like, people put so I much know, work into I was, this. It made me wish we could just give everyone a frame. I know. I want to Oprah like... this thing. <laughs> That's what I want to do. Uh-oh. What happened to the camera? Camera? Hold on. Oh, there we go. <laughs> um, yeah. It really made me want to just, like, give everybody a bike. But unfortunately, we cannot. We had to narrow it down for this stream. So we uh, there's a few to pick from still here. So we're going to go and start right from the top. And look at that. It's like <laughs> looking in the mirror. Aww. So great. And that's that's totally proportional too. Yeah, totally. Yeah, definitely. <laughs> that's awesome. And look at uh Aww. that's too it's too cute. It's too cute. It's just yeah. two little boys. That's so awesome. And that flannel that the little little guy's wearing, that is like it that is like perfection perfect. right there. Yeah. That is the exact flannel. It's well matched. That's pretty awesome. And look at that helmet. The helmet is actually as big as his torso. <laughs> <laughs> True. That's pretty awesome. And look at this. I, I love this. I love it. I love a good Photoshop hack job. Yeah. And this is this is pretty beautiful. Um, look at that subtle, subtle face blend in there. Just great. Mm -hmm. <laughs> good stuff. And um, I don't know, we should. Is there any way that we can like have people somehow vote? Can we do a poll? Is that that a sounds poll on a poll? Uh, a I just want to see poll. on our end if there's a way to do that. Oh. Definitely the one holding the extra long pole frame. Yeah. Nature, no, no. Symbols, objects. This is how prepared we were for this. So prepared. Can you do a poll? No, I don't think I can do a poll. Participants, pop out chat. Nope. All right, no worries. Okay. Where that? There we go. Okay. Yeah, this is great. I love that one. It's awesome. <laughs> That's me in like, well, probably five years. <laughs> <laughs> if you could grow a beard yeah if i could grow a beard which i clearly cannot this is awesome this is more realistic you in five years Def just like <laughs> <laughs> he's probably younger than me matt's probably younger i just younger mean than like me. the, the facial hair wow. yeah that's yeah. true if i if i started working on it now i might be able to get that soul patch going exactly on. so this is great he's got pd in there any honestly anybody anytime anybody brought out pd into the mix it's it's a pretty solid uh yes from us we're, for as far we're as going into the, people yeah yeah Aww. which i swore i'd never be but pd just he's just so cute yeah how can you not love he's him? pretty cute can't get, you gotta give him all the love <laughs> oh matt's in the chat what's up man instagram poll look at this this is really cool like that's awesome I don't know if this person can send this to me, but I know. if you can, I, I would I would frame it and I would put it on the wall because that's oh, really yeah, cool. Oh yeah, that would be up there for that sure. That would look great. So, Andrus, if you can send that, send it off. If you wanted to, if not, then you know that's totally Maybe cool he too. Maybe framed it and put it on his wall. Maybe, <laughs> but uh, yeah, if you want to send it our way, we will. Um, that will have high regard in this room. That's pretty mm -hmm. cool. All right. <laughs> and look, see, you know, Petey? Petey's in there. We've got the flannel. We've got the pole. It's great. I love the hat. <laughs> yeah. I love my floppy hats, right? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> the drawing is so awesome, Dead Sailor. Absolutely. Yeah. Okay, here's our first video. Now, you guys can let me know just how bad this shows up. Uh, I'm kind of scared to play the videos, but here's the first one. I actually don't think this one has any sound, so we'll just uh, we'll just play it. This one's called Waiting for Spring. <laughs> just doing laps in the house I just love this one it's simple it's effective 
it made me chuckle. And so relatable. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I like it. And back he goes. And it, it's the perfect Instagram loop. This will just go forever. And you'll be like, is it over? No, no it'll just it's keep never going. over. No, you, you won't know. No. Nope. It's great. All right, so how is the... Um, I'll see you later, Mr. Boy Scout. Thanks for uh, for popping into the stream. Um, so how does the video show up for you guys? How choppy is it? Because I'm looking at my OBS screen here, and it looks... It's a little choppy. Choppy. <laughs> you have pretty high standards for everything, though. I do, yeah. The video shows up. Yeah. Is it smooth, though? Is it smooth or is it choppy? <laughs> I need to know. It's going to be all right. All right. So <laughs> this one is pretty cool, and there's a couple of photos to this. Um, this is, uh, yeah, like he's, he's on a pole. A there he is. It's oh, they're saying it's not choppy at all. Well, that's oh, really, that's really awesome. good. Man, everything's it's working short. way smoother than I thought it was going all. to. Some of this is a little it's choppy, but watchable. So. Okay, sweet. So check this guy out. He is, he is quite literally riding a pole. Um, <laughs> and he showed like some behind the scenes. So he like fabricated this thing that he can just like clamp onto any pole and then sit on. <laughs> That's awesome. And then away he goes. And he takes his bike apart. Yeah. And gets all the parts. And he, chooses he his flannel. Cover it in tin foil or something too. Yeah. And then this is just savage. Like he, <laughs> it's the I, eyebrows. Total respect. Look at it covering the eye. I mean, like, <laughs> it's it's kind of interesting. I swear. Like every day, my eyebrows sometimes they're darker, and then sometimes they're sometimes not. Sometimes I brush them in. That's why. Oh really? Yeah. <laughs> well, I'm like just before I wake up, you like draw them on. That's yeah. nice. That's nice. But I swear, some days they're like way darker than others. They change color mm -hmm. by the day. Well, I think it's actually just more when you're angry, they get really dark. Right. Yeah. <laughs> it's like a mood ring. Yeah. It's how I know how to respond to you. Just savage. <clears throat> totally respectable. That's great. Yeah. Oh, see, look at this, guys. Aww. Everybody should be putting PD in their photo. <laughs> I mean, Petey is bigger than his head, but yeah, still. that's <laughs> Petey's let himself go. <laughs> All right, okay. So here is the first um, video with audio, I believe. Now, as I said before, this is going to be an audio train wreck, and I'm guessing it's going to be pretty off because, again, the sound is coming out of the bottom of our iMac and then just into a microphone I have right here. So <laughs> don't expect much. Here we go. This is happening. I might be able to do this. The Lone Ranger is giving away a bike. So, we're going to make a video about this. Lone Ranger stuff. Oh, the Foam Ranger! <laughs> Brought to you by the Foam Ranger. This is happening. Very nice. Very <laughs> nice. The Foam Ranger. I like what you did yeah. with the logo. That's pretty awesome. Oh, I clicked out. Here we go. That was sweet. Here we go. From Hefty Ranger. Oh, nice. Putting the work in. Bend it. Nice. Yep, got the logo. Adjustable geometry, customizable travel, one frame for every size, the ability to mount seven water bottles. Seven water bottles! Exactly too good to be true. <laughs> I have at least seven on my Evo. <laughs> oh, look at him shred. Shredding that pole. Oh, 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 oh. Swipe oh. right. Swipe right. Oh, yeah. say to all the haters who say this is really just lunch man the haters <laughs> i'm a biker b1ker it only takes oh. a bike to be a biker <sighs> <Holy thing. 
Oh, by the way, that red and black evil look looks pretty sweet. It's just that Lone Ranger guy when I copy my colors. I really think you need to send me one, you know, to test out. Nice. <laughs> That's good. There was passion in that one. <laughs> See, the the only thing I could think about is guaranteed someone saw that man running through the woods <laughs> really on that thing that. that had no idea what was happening. That's At first what, I thought he was on a scooter. But yeah, nope. <laughs> nope. <laughs> Riding that pole. That's awesome. <laughs> All right. Dead sailor. Here we go. And it looks like I can already tell. And he's dead, dead sailors in the chat. He's, he's in the chat. He's got his logo up and there running. There we go. Yeah, that's pretty oh, no, sweet. That's his regular. No, that's his logo. Yeah, that's pretty sweet. That's awesome. He's committed. Ah. <laughs> I can't believe it. <laughs> oh, that's awesome. Yes. So have you ever looked at any of these YouTube mountain biker Instagram pages and thought to yourself, man, I wish that they would do a giveaway. And if they did do a giveaway, I would have this type of a bike and these types of specs. Well, guess what? Lone Ranger teamed up with Pull Bicycles and they're doing a giveaway. <laughs> I never, ever, 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 ever thought that the Lone Ranger was going to do a giveaway this big. <laughs> But he did. For a giveaway this big, I decided to go all out. I even made up my own logo, the Dead Sailor logo, after Ryan's Sweet. Lone Ranger logo. <laughs> the logo is pretty impressive. Yep. I really appreciate the logo. <laughs> oh. Not only that, but I also crafted up my very own trail bird. Let me introduce to you the signature Dead Sailor Paper Pete. Yeah. Woo! Yeah, Pete. <laughs> Where is Pete? Yeah, he needs to be in here. He should be in here. Oh, that's awesome. <laughs> so this is, oh, hey, baby. So this is it. And this is my entry into the Lone Rangers Evo Link giveaway. So do yourself a favor. Get out there. Make a video. Take a picture. Do whatever you can to imitate the great Lone Ranger. Because if you do, you'll have a chance to win your very own Evo Link. But remember, with great power comes great responsibility. I don't know what that has to do with anything, but just remember it. Oh, hey, baby. <laughs> all right guys so i'm just about done editing and i apologize for the potato quality here yep. but uh, i just have to tell you guys one more thing before i close out this video that is bat bikes Not only that, but I also <laughs> that's good stuff that was good the pd part good. the pd part is it that You're weird ca capturing when, our hearts when pd is on our shoulder and we're like yeah. oh hi pd like is it is we it should, that weird uh... for everyone <laughs> Yeah, what what do you guys say? I mean, it seems like people like Petey. Yeah. How could you not like Petey? <laughs> but uh, is it weird that there's just always a bird flying around landing on us at any given time? Let us know in the comments. All right. Let's do a poll. Let's do a poll, <laughs> yeah. I wish they should have that. They should do a... a you should be able to do poll? a live stream poll. That would be really cool. All right. Jason. Now, Jason is from my hometown of Edmonton, our hometown of Edmonton. <laughs> see what he's got for us. Hey everybody, it's the Lone Ranger coming at you from freezing cold Edmonton, Alberta. Today is Tech Tuesday. Let's just watch the video. <laughs> this could be the most dangerous trick I have ever attempted. The GoPro effect is real. <laughs> Safety first, boys and girls. Oh yeah. <laughs> Yep. Put on your foam hat. Oh man, that looks scary. Oh, this is sketchy. <laughs> is he gonna do it? Whoa, whoa, whoa. Whoa. whoa, he did it. He really. <laughs> Dude, are you okay? <laughs> hey, everybody. It's yeah. Oh, and that's a, a secondary message right there. Jason, is that supposed to be part of it? Or is that a secondary? That was pretty awesome. It's so yes. dangerous, too. Like that North Shore feature. Oh my gosh. <laughs> like you, sir. <laughs> Yes, we did sell our dead bird to a blind kid, but then we got him back. <laughs> All right, that was awesome. All right, this is a photo. This is a great photo, okay? <laughs> so the more you look, the more you look at this, the more you're like, wow, that was like that's a relatively hard shot to get cuz he legit looks like he is crashing, like mid crash. Mm -hmm. Lone Ranger hat, thumbs upping as he's falling. Well, that's not like a real 
Oh, no, I, I, get, I was thinking he just photoshopped the Lone Ranger no, no. onto there. But no, that's like a legit. That's on there. He he definitely taped it on there. <laughs> wow. Yeah, that's pretty good. I like that. That's impressive. That took some work. And it's like good good photo quality, too. Yeah. Like, it's nice. The exposure is good. It almost looks like he lit it. <laughs> yeah, I know. It's like. Especially with the type of shadow on his face. Studio. I feel like, yeah, <laughs> just put a bunch of dirt and plants into his studio. That was pretty yeah. good. I really like that photo. Oh, yeah. Oh, this was one of my favorites because yeah. I just thought was, I couldn't stop that. laughing at this one. <laughs> <laughs> just, there it is. There, uh, yeah. He's it's like, hey. like, hey, here's, here's the pole. Yeah. Oh, he's from Edmonton. There you go. Nice. Which means, which means, folks, that he probably stood out there when it was literally minus 40 outside. That's true. Because the last two weeks have actually been around minus 40. Every, every single day <laughs> for 14 days straight. No word of a lie. 14 days straight. Um, there was an extreme cold warning. And at some point during the day, it was minus 40 or colder. <laughs> That's where we live. It's pretty insane. Oh, Tomb Rider says he did light it for the last photo. Oh, really? Oh, yeah. sweet. Yeah. Good job, man. That yeah. looks so good. That's awesome. I, I like this one. This is good. Yeah. I like that. Okay. <laughs> photo. I'll read it out. Desperate pole bicycles designer struggling to fit a complete bike sketch onto a piece of paper because it won't fit. <laughs> <laughs> I'm sure Leo goes through that every single day. Yeah. Oh. Two. Lone Ranger and the team of pole bicycle designers discussing the Lone Ranger Evil Link Special Edition. Hmm, what do we do? Oh, wow. Got the plot everywhere. Three. Leaf sketch of pole bicycles prototype. Hashtag fake news. Although that is a really, that's like a that's legit like a, looking yeah. prototype right there. <laughs> that's pretty good. And then actual footage of Lone Ranger choosing the color for his signature Evil Link frame. Mm-hmm. Yep, mm -hmm. that's how it went. Red. Because red is fast. <laughs> <laughs> Intensity. <laughs> oh, and we got Ben here. See, so this is a very simple one. But then when you actually compare it, he actually had the comparison photo. Look, there's me. Not the best yeah. photo of me, I might add. <laughs> but look at that. That's yeah. a solid comparison. Like, even looking at the shirts, he chose the right yeah. colors for the shirts. Yep. The hat. It's all good. And you know... He does have more eyebrow than you, though. He, yes, he definitely, <laughs> that was another one of those bad <laughs> eyebrow days, as is today. Um, yeah, so interesting story. Ben there, we actually photographed his wedding probably like, what, five or six years ago now? A number of years ago now. Yeah, a long time ago when we were shooting weddings. And uh, that was so good. One of the best weddings we've ever been to. Definitely one and of the best. And we became good friends with both of them, him and his wife, Erin. And Erin actually runs an awesome YouTube channel called My Green Closet. And that has to do with like eco fashion and like all that kind of stuff. And she was one of the reasons why I decided to get into YouTube, actually. So yeah. awesome people. Awesome, awesome people. And I really like this. It's actually pretty close. <laughs> all right. How to do drops. Yep. Nice. Oh, and here's a video. He's going to show us all exactly how to do drops. Ah, I can tell where it's going immediately. Yeah. 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 Oh. <laughs> like anybody who's mountain biked enough, and especially anybody who has GoPro enough, knows like right there. There. <laughs> like you already know that that man is going over. Mm. Garbage Rocket is his name. <laughs> And he cracked his frame. Oh. Ouchie. <laughs> that's that's pretty brutal. I haven't checked the comments in a bit. How's everybody uh, doing? Someone says weddings rock. They do. Yes. Yeah, and weddings are a good time. Working outside in the cold weather sucked. And I every time I drive by anybody who's working outside, I feel very bad for them. And very thankful that I don't work outside in Edmonton. Yeah. Yeah. Gene, Gene from Regular Guy Mountain Biking says, my cats would love Petey. Yeah, I'll bet they would. <laughs> Petey. Aww. All right, Petey here we go. love cats. What do we got? This one's from Jimbo the Kid. From New Zealand. In the NZ. Yep. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> I like the angles so far. 
-hmm. like the cinematography going on. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Oh, nice. <laughs> oh. Oh, yeah. Th that's my audio. Yeah. That's you. <laughs> that's awesome so he so he went through and pulled actual, actual awkward trail sounds yeah. from our videos oh, oh, oh. and put them in just in the right places that's pretty <laughs> sweet that takes some work right there all right Go to New Zealand. Well, or go New Zealand. Yeah, definitely. And I also want to go to New Zealand. <laughs> Christchurch. Oh, Jake Young says he is garbage rocket. Broke my frame and neck. What? Broke your neck. Oh my gosh. No. Your frame oh. and your neck. Jeez. Oh man. Yeesh. Well, I hope you're healing up. Like when was that? I want to know how long ago that was and how you're doing now. All right, next one up. How to win a pole bike. I'll take a poor Photoshop shot of the, at a Lone Ranger pole bicycle. Lone Ranger signature edition Evil Link frame. Yep, that's yeah. solid. <laughs> I like that. Yeah. Very nice. All right. Let's see. <laughs> the light remote. I'm pumped about my light remote. <laughs> So, how do I make an intro to my YouTube video that is totally memorable, that sticks in people's minds, and it's super easy to do? Well, I'm about to show you. Oh, that's so cool. <laughs> that's so awesome. Look at that. Nice. Oh, he's from Lethbridge. He's from Alberta. Oh. What was that? You did it on a computer? <laughs> no, we did it that way. That <laughs> yeah, we, that's, that's how, how we, we do did it. it. Yeah, and every oh, time we change the color, we just change our tissue paper. So. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> really quickly on that last mm -hmm. one, I had to change it from yellow to red super fast. That was really cool. Hey, if you if you send me a video, I would love if you could send me a video file of that flickering. Mm -hmm. That would be cool, and I would totally use that in the videos. Yeah. Someone's calling. Don't answer it. Don't answer it. <laughs> Probably not the best time. All right. I won't answer that one. That was really cool. Like that's that's awesome. I definitely if you if if you're watching, send me that video file. That would be really cool. <laughs> Paul All the right. punter wants to know if Jordan has won yet. <laughs> Asking for a friend. <laughs> Who's Jordan? Which Jordan? Which Jordan? All right, we got Flow Dogmaster. And actually, before we keep going, does anybody have a favorite so far? Yeah. We've heard from Paul the Punter, but does well, anybody else have? And we haven't even shown. Oh, we haven't shown that one yet. That one okay, yet. that's I why think, I was like, who's I think they know, I know the one he's talking about. Huh. But does anybody have a favorite so far from all the ones? Because it would be really good. I really want to get your guys' input on this. Like, we're, we're writing down as we go, like, our extra special favorites and, like, narrowing it down. But, yeah, let us, uh, let us know what you guys really like. Let's get into this one. First one. <laughs> I can't believe it. Move your mouse over. I can't believe this is true, but this is real. <laughs> this is a public warning to American mountain bikers. It is not safe to go riding in Canada. Nope, it's not. There's riots in the streets and on the trails. Look at what happened to Brian. From BKX. Oh, there's Brian down below. He tried crossing the border. <laughs> oh. I think that's Paul from Paul the Punter. <laughs> What's and he doing? Get, and Eric from BC <laughs> POV. Kicking the beep out of him. Canada is tired of long lines at Whistler. Get out of our lines! Bumps on the trail. <laughs> Selfies at the bottom of jumps. Again. That was pretty great. It stops there. I don't know if it goes longer, but that's where it flips over. That was pretty great. And that is how it is when you go into Canada. So mm -hmm. that's your warning. 
Don't get in my whistler line. I'm telling you. <laughs> all right, next up. Man, these are all so good. And again, yeah. everybody's putting so much work into these. It's so awesome to see. It's, everybody's just saying different ones because they're all so awesome. Yeah. Like N NZ guy on road bike. And yeah. And another that guy says good. New Zealand kid. I vote for the no pole duct tape bike. Yeah. <laughs> Two kids in their bikes. Dead sailor. Hefty. Yeah. <laughs> Those are all so good. I don't know how we're supposed to do this. Road bike guy. Let's see. Oh, zoomed in. He found a flannel, everybody. Get moving. <laughs> oh, this is the one you can't play. Oh, yeah. I'm going to turn down the volume. Wait, was that Nickelback? I think so. Someone tell me if that was Nickelback or not. Ugh. Nickelback's from Alberta. Perfect. <laughs> oh, he has found the flannel. I don't think he sells music. There we go. Yep. That looks like a nice one. There we go. Much better. Just discard the jersey. Much better. <laughs> and volume down. Yep. Yeah. Go where the pole bikes go. The gnar. The steep gnar. Sweet. Good stuff. I like it. Let me turn this back up. All right, where are we? We're on to this one. How many we got? Oh, we're almost to the end. Almost to the end here. Okay, Lucas A. Woodhouse. He's from Edmonton, too. <laughs> Someone says, I'm glad I don't have to pick. They're all really great. I they know. They are also They're great. Really we're having a really great. hard time picking. Yeah. And Cole actually wants to give away one of these frames. <laughs> I want you guys to go take a photo or film yourself impersonating the Lone Ranger. Might not be able to play this music. No, this is one of my songs. Oh, this is one yeah. of my songs. Okay, Shows how much you watch the channel. I was, rec <laughs> well, I was recognizing it, so apparently I do watch it too much. I'm like, wait, is this yep. a Top 40 song? <laughs> Sweet. Oh. Yeah. <laughs> oh, the drone action. Yes. Oh, baby. Look at that. Standing by the wood. Pole oh, action. <laughs> <laughs> That's pretty good. I really like that one. And also, he's from Edmonton, which means wow. he was probably doing that in minus 40. I'm just so impressed with all the Edmonton Not support. Not and the, uh, there was no when there's no favoritism cold. to Edmontonians. I, we're just picking the we're ones that stand, the ones out. That stand yeah. out. But like he's out there without <laughs> a proper jacket. He probably he's probably dead. He might be. So I guess we can't pick him. Yeah. <laughs> I don't know. All right, here we go. Next. I like you and all else here. This plaid right here is the only shirt you'll need. You can literally wear it to do anything. You can wear it to do a promo. <laughs> Everyone knows that have good vision is important on the trail. And ever since getting my Paul the Punter, full punter socks, my vision has been 30% better. Shout out to Paul. To get the mini Lone Ranger a snack. Come get your fruit loops. <laughs> That's from our Cranbrook video. We to do bike maintenance. And this right here is Tom's Mech Dash, where you totally pimp it out. We're gonna put some hydraulic disc brakes, and we're gonna mod this fork to get more travel. You can try and do a wheelie in front of the talent side. <laughs> Yeah. <laughs> I've been wearing my Paul the Puncher socks. And finally, you can even wear it in the bedroom. Oh, Beth, you were going to help me with the live stream in our master bedroom. <laughs> I'll let you This plaid is a jack of all trades. Cheers, everybody. And yes, that picture is crooked. I'll let you in on a This plaid right here. I'm really glad he mentioned the picture because it was killing me the whole time I was watching it. <laughs> that one was really good. I like that one. All right, here we go. Ah. <laughs> Carbon pole bill? Somewhere in Ontario. Love the music. Thin depth of field. Oh, yeah. 
carbon fiber pole. She's ready. Dad, what are you doing? <laughs> oh, hey, buddy. I'm just building up my new carbon fiber pole. Sweet. Pole doesn't use carbon fiber. They That's right. Only <laughs> use aluminum frames. Aluminum? By the way, the Ranger is giving away <laughs> one. The Lone Ranger's giving an evil link away? <laughs> So good. And those were the proportions of the evil link, by the way. That's how long it is. That was awesome. And the cuteness factor was through the roof with the kid in there. That was great. <laughs> the Very, loanger. <laughs> yeah. The loanger's giving away. <laughs> That's great. Nice work. Oh, look at that. Oh, yeah. Very cool. Wait. No, that's the same. That's is that the same one as the one above? I think I think so. it was. Yes. Yeah. All right. All right. All right. I'll skip past that one. Very good. Very good. Very good. <laughs> that's just great. I mean, come on. <laughs> poor dog the dog's earning it right there for yeah. sure and look at this a lego loam ranger mm -hmm. that that's is so awesome. cool that's from our friend devin as well he hey and if you guys didn't know devin at oxberger there he is the one that did the uh oh, he is the one that did the lego mountain bike films that i'm sure most of you saw on you know, posted to Pink Bike or on YouTube or whatever. He did too. He did like, I can't remember what, what they're called. And he's, if you're in the chat, Devin, let me know. But uh, yeah, he made like Lego Mountain Biker. And then he just did a recent one, like just like a month ago or something. Mm -hmm. It's like the new Lego Mountain Bike. Yeah, that was pretty cool. That's very weird to see. And he has more eyebrows than me. <laughs> I should stop mentioning this because now everyone's only going to be talking about it. everyone's only going to make fun of your eyebrows. Yeah, I know. We could get implants for you. Yeah. Okay. Implants. That's actually our sponsor. Yeah. <laughs> right. Good. Now we got last entry here by Jordan. Let's check it out. Here we go. <laughs> Can't believe it. Yes. Have you ever taken a look at the current crop of men's flannel wear out there in the world right now and said to yourself, if only I were given a chance to piece one of those together? So sincere. Well, last month, thanks to the folks over at Fruit of the Loam, that's exactly what I was able to do. So clever. <laughs> Plaid isn't just a pattern. It's a way of life. So when the Fruit of the Loam asked me to construct the Jordan Byron Signature Edition Plaid shirt, I just couldn't say no. We spent over 10,000 man hours on just the button selection alone. This obsessive attention to detail is what makes the JTB plaid shirt stand out from oh. the crowd. <laughs> oh yeah. Today, this shirt is being released to all of you. Let me introduce to you the limited run signature edition Jordan Byron plaid shirt. <laughs> this is my favorite part of the video. <laughs> he looks like he's dead. <laughs> Mannequin, for he sure. He has everything you're looking for in a quality plaid garment. <laughs> Pockets, buttons, and of course that big, bold plaid pattern. Oh. It comes in one color. Majestic JTB bike green. <laughs> Supplies are limited, so get your order in before they're gone. Thank you so much for watching. Now it's your turn. Get out there and ride. Very nice. Very nice. Very good. Yeah. yeah. Oh, Too guys. Funny. What the heck? So some people were asking if this is all the entries. These were some of our favorite entries that we picked. Yeah, we went and through our every... kids picked the Lego one, obviously. Oh, for I mean, sure. we did as well. Yeah. But <laughs> but uh, we went through every single one that was posted before mm -hmm. midnight yesterday. And um, oh, wait. No, there was one more. Oh, there was that one. There was that... one that he had to post onto YouTube because he couldn't get it onto Instagram, but he posted it all over his Instagram. So we will give him this. But so uh, this is from who was this? Oh yeah, Michael. So this is from from Michael, and uh, the first three quarters of the video are awesome riding footage, and I love the riding footage. It's great. But I'm starting it where he starts his like sits down and talks. Yeah. But the cool thing is that on his bike, he's got a Lone Ranger sticker right on the top tube. Mm -hmm. Beautiful. Love it. Okay, here we go. I 
cannot believe it. I cannot believe I'm wearing a plaid shirt. <laughs> <laughs> Whoa! Sorry, Ryan. I'm not a fan of the plaid. <laughs> Top tip, bud. Plaid makes a bloody awesome red. What a waste. Puts a good shine to it. I was actually so sad that he ripped that plaid shirt. <laughs> Some more awesome riding footage. Oh, both of his bikes have a Lone Ranger sticker on the top tube. Look at that. And he's got the Lone Ranger t-shirt. He's fully swagged out. That was good. I like that. That was very unexpected. He must be a patron. Like, oh, he I... certainly <laughs> is. He absolutely is. He is. Yeah. That was great. All right, so that, that is all of the entries. And yeah, like, my gosh, guys, let me know your favorites. <laughs> Larry Kelly says, pick the top six or so and then have Petey draw the winner from your Lone Ranger hat. <laughs> <laughs> That's a pretty good idea, That's, actually. That is a good idea. <laughs> Larry Kelly is my dad, by yeah. the way. And uh, he, if you guys didn't know, he is a big reason why we're, we were able to get so many interesting shots over the last two years. Because mm -hmm. he, he works in the film industry and uh, he creates, well, they call him the MacGyver on set. He's the guy that, like, if you, if you need, like, this, like, huge plexiglass tank put into a frozen lake so that the actors can run and fall through ice but not die because of its cold water, its hot water, he can build that. If you need this huge, like massive jib arm put onto a little car to go flying down the road and get crazy silky smooth footage he'll just put it together he's an absolute mad scientist and uh yeah we owe a lot of our really nice shots to him our very first video proper video we ever posted on here had his gear oh, yeah. all over it with the sliders and stuff and like yeah we can't do most of it without him and just because he's not usually on the chat and i'll just keep embarrassing him some more <laughs> if anybody here is a photographer or a videographer and you want a really good quality Apple box, and those who know what an Apple box is will just know, go and check out his company, Transform Grip Gear. I think it's just transformgripgear.com. Could can, be .ca, can put but it in the chat. Uh, but <laughs> go and check it out, because he makes some incredible stuff. Pitch, I'm allowed. He's my dad. Leave me alone. <laughs> okay, so let's, um, let's, yeah, let's... Oh, my phone just died. I don't know. Your phone died, like no battery left. Well... I was using it pretty hard today. All right, let's see. I vote for the guy running. Yeah, that was a good one. That was a really good one. Um, the one with the crooked picture. That one was really good. This one? Like I feel like that's one of my one of my tops, honestly. Um, some of the oh. thumbnails are it fades in from black, so you can't actually oh, see okay. the thumbnail. This one, like as far as like deadpan photos, <laughs> like that's really good. I like that a lot. Yeah. It's simple yet so effective. Oh man, this one was really good. I really liked that one. Mm -hmm. um, the, you said that multiple times. The pic, when yeah. Well, I mean, that's when we were watching them. I mean, so that's something saying, right like, there. Something. Oh, thanks, Jason, for posting that link. Everybody, go check that out. Um, let's see. And he builds, he builds all that transform grip gear in a shop, just like 15 minutes from here himself, and it's pretty sweet stuff. Um, like the Lego, that's great. Um, man. Yeah, I just want to keep hearing what you guys think. Nathan Wheeler says, Jordan, I'm assuming you mean this Jordan, like this one here down at the bottom. <laughs> Jordan won. Skyke deserves it. Crooked Frame Guy, yeah, that's definitely like... Who's Crooked Frame Guy? Which it's one the is one... That? You have to show me. Uh, it's the one where he like does like the Paul the Punter sock. I, could, I don't know which one it is. That's a hard thing because they're all black. Not that one. That one was really good, though, with the cute kid. See, <laughs> this is the hard part. That. Now we have to, like, click into all these to try and find this one. Uh, let's see. No, I don't think so. That one was good, too. Oh, that was the oh, road bike that one? that was the road bike one. That, that was one was one really good. Ones, he had some sure. of the best, like, cine Editing, yeah. cinematography. Like, just the angles. Like, of him first riding out on the road bike, it was just behind some, like, really nice plants and stuff. Yep. And it just showed exactly, like... It just set the scene so well. Like, <laughs> I paid attention to that stuff yeah. and it looked really good. It just meant a lot to you. Lethbridge. They're all so good. Oh yeah, that one was really good too. Oh man. I didn't actually write anything down the whole entire time. <laughs> I failed at my job. Oh, there you go. Oh, crooked picture. 
I'll play this one again. Literally wear it to do anything. You can wear it to do a promo. <laughs> Everyone knows that having good vision is important on the trail. And ever since getting my Paul the Punter full punter socks, my vision has been 30% better. Yep. You can wear it to get the mini Lone Ranger a snack. Come get your fruit loops. Come get your fruit <laughs> You can wear it to do bike maintenance. And this right here is Tom's mech dash. And that is a mech dash. I know, that's the best part. We this brakes, and we're going to mod this fork to get more travel. You can try and do a wheelie in front of a town sign. And that just, yeah. Uh, I should have been wearing my Paul the Punter socks. And he really finally, sacrificed himself. You know, in the oh, Beth, you were going to help me with the live stream. And I'm I don't like this room. part. It's kind of awkward. <laughs> this plaid is a jack of all trades. Yeah, that one was really good. I do like that one. Mm-hmm. Yeah, and so and it showed that he's watched like a ton of our videos too, right? Like yeah. he had ones from the, the Paul the Punter from... ad that we helped out with Paul the Punter socks. Go check out the socks; they'll make yeah. you a better rider. Um, Fruit Loops is from Guaranteed. Cranbrook. Yeah, Cranbrook video. Yeah, the there was so many. Yeah, it was really cool. I really like this photo. That's a well done photo, and he lit it and everything. Like this <laughs> did such a good job. That definitely yeah, stands out yeah. in the photo department for sure. Jason's was really good. I love the deadpan humor of it with the mm -hmm. stairs. Dangerous stuff. Yep. That drawing, like, that's that's some work right there. <laughs> that's really good. That's some work right there. That is. And no, I really like it. Like, if you look close, like, it's got, like, the shading and everything. Like, it's just, like, a nice looking. Mm -hmm. It looks good. But maybe that's just me looking at a picture yeah, that was just, drawn of myself. You just love like, it. You're like, oh. I look so good in that photo. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Very cute. Some really cute kid shots. That's pretty awesome. Yeah. Yeah. Great Photoshop work there. <laughs> yeah. So how are we deciding this thing? Well, so here's the thing. We... So here's the thing. How are we deciding this thing? Um, we're supposed to be announcing it on Instagram. That's what I said in the beginning. In the, in, in the video. I said we video? would... We would announce it on Instagram. Is that what we should do? Because here's the thing. I think we we do need to deliberate. We need to do a little a little more deliberating. Or maybe we just put it out on the video, right? Like I thought you did you tell the pe did you tell the people that you were announcing it? Oh man, you're gonna have some angry I, people. I think I said <laughs> help me pick a winner. So yeah, maybe that does maybe that does imply that we would pick a winner, wouldn't it? All right, we'll ch we'll choose a winner. Well, now. We're looking for the input, so yeah, we can deliberate some more. All right, I'll tell you what. Um, maybe what we'll do. I just want to keep hearing from you guys what you think. Casual MTV writer spent a lot of time on mine. Yeah, you definitely did, and so did everybody else. <laughs> it would be so much easier if everybody's just like sucked except for one. But like, they're so good. Show the ski bike video. It's brilliant. Just give it to Byron, Jordan Byron. His was really good. So, and, well, actually, how about before we, you keep working on who you think should win. <laughs> and you can scroll through if you want. I'm going to switch this over to scene one again here. Oh, hi. There we are. Um, what are they winning? We haven't really gone over what they're winning. Oh. Now, I'm, I'm willing to bet that, what? Oh, it's just like, oh, we haven't oh. gone over what they're winning. Oh, oh. oh. <laughs> um, so awkward. Uh, <laughs> That's so kind of that bike that back is. there, um, we're giving away the frame. And uh, that is a, a Lone Ranger Signature Edition Pole Evo Link. It's the longest named bike on the planet. So you can have that to brag about if you were to win it or if you were to buy it. And uh, yeah, sales have been coming through. Pole was letting me know that people are buying the bike, which is so awesome. And what are, and like such a surreal feeling too to know that there's going to be people out there <laughs> actually riding a bike yeah. that we put together. Like it's really cool and enjoying it. And like I know that you are going to really enjoy it. And if... If you're one of those people that did buy it and you're in the chat, let me know because I want to give you a high five. And um, with this one, whoever wins this frame, uh, we're also going to send a sticker pack too as well so you can sticker it up as much as you want. But yeah, sweet bike. I mean, you guys saw me riding the Evo Link all last year. That's actually version 1.2, whereas this is a version 1.3. So there's some subtle differences there that actually make it easier, better for cable routing, better for water bottle uh, storage and all that kind of stuff. Seven water bottles Seven, of six. 17 water bottles on it now. Yeah, it's pretty impressive. Mm -hmm. So and they're going for 19 next year, which is amazing. 
But um, yeah, so you get to choose whether it's an Evil Link 158 or an Evil Link 140. Mm -hmm. And uh, the Evil Link 158, um, that's a 170 mil travel fork and 158 rear. And the Evil Link 140 is 160 mil front and 140 mil rear. That's the one I've, that I've been riding. I really like that one. I feel like it's such a good do-it-all bike. But the people who ride the Evil Link 158s, they actually say, and who have ridden both, they actually say they don't notice a difference as far as like pedalability. Hmm. They just have more travel. So it still climbs. Yeah, still climbs good, which is which is pretty sweet. And yeah, so it's gonna have the EXT Storia lock rear shock on it, which is just oh, it's such a nice shock. It's so good. Yeah. I'm pretty I'm pretty proud of that thing back there. <laughs> pretty proud of it. I don't know if you can tell. Um definitely go and check it out. I think if there is if there's a bike that could actually make somebody like faster and safer see the, here's the thing and we were talking about this there's like this like youtuber group on the back end of things and we all chat about stuff whatever i always have a hard time because when i first started looking into the pole bikes i was pretty pumped about it and then i got one and i turned into a bit of a fanboy and i wasn't sponsored by them at the time or anything they sent me a frame but there was no like you know actual sponsorship do or say this kind of thing and um and I was just really pumped about it, but I'm super awkward about like getting enthusiastic about something on the channel because I always feel like people would be like, well, it's just because, it, you know, they gave it to you or whatever. I always have a hard time with that, but I also have a hard time like holding back because I'm always like so enthusiastic when I'm like, this is good. So you should like it, too. <laughs> but I will say this. I'll only speak in in like hard facts when it, I think that that's a good fix for it. Right. <laughs> Sorry. Go ahead. Right. Speaking your hard facts, I don't know why I'm laughing at you. <laughs> the, one of the big reasons why I first looked into pole is because of what I do, and which is go onto trails I've never ridden before all the time and try and hit them as fast as humanly possible without dying. That's my daily job. And I, when I was on the Rain, which is an incredibly capable bike, super awesome bike, mm -hmm. um, I was a size large, it's properly sized for me, all that kind of stuff for, for what I thought. Uh, I think I went over the bars like five or six times like hard when I was on that bike and every other bike before that every other bike I've ever ridden you're going over the bars like if you're oh, if you're yeah. pushing it and actually trying to ride fast and like do things that that scare you sometimes you're going OTB pretty often maybe not often but a bunch the moment I started riding the Evo link all of last year I rode the hardest trails I've ever ridden the fastest trails I've ever ridden and the steepest trails I've ever ridden in my life and I didn't go I didn't have a proper over, an, I didn't have a proper OTV once the entire year. And I've never had that in a season in my life. And I rode so much more last year than I ever have before. And so that was like, that was like the big reason why I wanted it. I'm like, if I could go faster, then my videos look better and it would be more interesting for people. And I just like going fast. And if I could not crash as much, that's, <laughs> al that's also nice. That's it's not as good for the thumbnails if I'm not crashing, yeah. but uh, yeah, and it did that. So that, anyways, that's that's my very honest pitch for pole is that like, it'll, it'll act, it can actually make you faster and you'll crash less. At least that's what I found anyways, my own personal thing. Anyways, <laughs> so that's the bike. Um, so uh, what do you say? We should pick a winner. Oh, is it down to my choice now? We, we should pick a winner. Best choice. <laughs> okay. So you guys can't see it, but we're looking through and uh, Beth and I are going to just like quietly point at our screen and, deliver and deliberate. And so you guys can talk amongst yourselves for a second. But uh, I'm seeing, <laughs> waiting patiently. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry, guys. Um, He'll just keep talking if you want. Yeah, I'll just keep going. Okay. So I think, I think that one or it was, it was that one. Uh, the... If we're talking videos, we're talking the. And if we're talking photos, I I really do like that one. Yeah. Right there. Yeah. And that one, there's a lot of work that went into that. Mhm. Mm yeah. So I'd say this one. Mhm. Mm or this one. Or this one. Or this one. So I've got it down to four. Myself. I'd say this one or yeah. that one. Yeah. Okay. So we're down to two. <laughs> down to two. Dun, dun, dun. Okay. What do you, well, I can't, I feel like this one. Yeah. Interesting. 
I don't know, I don't but know. I'm really torn. I have a bigger reaction to this one. <laughs> this is exciting television, isn't it, guys? <laughs> <laughs> Commercial break. Yeah. Okay. I'll. All right. Let's oh, do this. Like do we want to? We're like literally split down the middle because I'm saying one and you're saying the other one. Yeah. Okay. What do we do? Rock paper scissors. We could. <laughs> All right. Yeah. All right. Rock paper scissors. Okay. So we're gonna do rock paper scissors. We've got it down to two. Mm -hmm. And uh, we are gonna do rock paper scissors and just she's really bad at rock paper scissors. Not as far as like winning or losing, but as far as just knowing how to play rock paper scissors. And so it is. I thought you meant like as far as getting angry when I lose. And you also get very angry. <laughs> so are you this one? I don't know if that's the right one though. Well, we better make sure? sure. Okay, I'm just no. gonna turn the volume off. It's like before you give it a no. It's not that one. It's this. This one. Yeah. Okay. So you're that one, I'm that one. Okay. Oh man. Your fate like, is in my hands. <laughs> I'm really, I'm really, I would be pumped for either of them to win it, but it's like, or do you really? when I think of this one winning, I'm like, ah, oh, but then when I think of that one winning, I'm like, no, the other one. Like I'm pretty torn too, honestly. Yeah. Okay, so let's I do this. I feel like this is the only really fair way to settle it. Yeah. <laughs> Shall we play the top two for people? What do you mean? Should we show them the top oh. two? And then we just won't tell them who's who? Yeah, let's play the top They're going to hate us, whoever wins or loses. I know, it's down to freaking rock, paper, scissors. Oh, man. Okay, it's down to uh, these two. Okay, let's play them both. Turn, the, turn this back on. We're going to go to scene two. And scene two. it is between Jordan Byron's entry, because it was, I, I feel like I have my strongest reaction to this one. So let's watch it again. No. Yeah, because you said I had the strongest. No, no, no. <laughs> it's too late. Can't believe it. <laughs> Can't believe it. Have you ever taken a look at the current crop of men's flannel wear out there in the world right now and said to yourself, if only I were given a chance to piece one of those together? Well, last month, thanks to the folks over at Fruit of the Loam, that's exactly we're what I was to be <laughs> Plaid isn't just a pattern, it's a way of life. So when Okay, we... so is that one. And favorite comment of the day uh, just came through, and uh, which says, more, <laughs> Mark Cox says, this is more drawn out than a BKXC maintenance video. <laughs> <laughs> I like that. Winning. Yes, that Sorry, was good. Sorry, I tried to high five you, but your hands are full. No, no, no. Okay, so that's, that's one, and the other one, and we just played it before, so I'm not gonna play the whole thing. I'll let you in on a little secret. This plaid right here, the only shirt you'll need. You can literally wear it to do anything. You can wear it to do a promo. Everyone knows that having good vision is important on the trail. That's good stuff. Okay. <laughs> it's between those two. And oh my gosh. Should we should we do rock, paper, scissors for it? Okay, let's just do it. Let's just let's just do it. Let's not let's not draw this out. We are no BKXC maintenance video. <laughs> this is the Lone Frickin' Ranger channel here. Okay, here we go. Um, this is how we play rock, paper, scissors to make sure it's done right. Because if we get this wrong, we are going to hear it from everybody. Oh, I feel everybody. like we can't do this. This is too tense. Okay, so it's tense. going to be best out of three. Okay. Okay? Hurry up. And we go one, two, three, go. Okay? Like that. Okay. So this is not for real. Okay, ready? One, two, three, go. Okay? Okay. Okay. Yeah. okay. I got it. I got Here it. Here we go. Are you ready, everybody? Ready, everyone? <laughs> Here we go. And you are, are we telling him who's who? No, we're not gonna tell him who's who. Doesn't but you're that really one. Matter. Here we go. One, two, three, go. One, two, three, go. Oh, oh there's one for mine. One, two, three, go. Died. <laughs> this is for a frame, folks. Can you handle okay. this? <laughs> I can't handle this. Everyone else is probably just like, get on with it. Yeah, they are. But I'm just like, honestly, I'm Come so stressed on. about this. Come Here on. we go. Ready? Yeah. One, two, three, go. <gasps> One, two, three, go. Oh! <laughs> and the winner is. This is good because I would have had a tantrum. The winner is <laughs> David Hughes from Chestermere, Alberta. 
Congratulations, sir. Yeah. That is so <laughs> awesome. Congratulations. Yes. I love it. This is good. I'm happy for him. This is this is <laughs> good. This is awesome because I really like the fact that he went and dug into a bunch of different videos and uh, represented them all. Very deadpan. I love the deadpan. I know. Any that's that's fantastic. So, uh, yeah, David, we are going to be um, going and getting in touch with you uh, probably through Instagram. I'll shoot you an Instagram message. So, yeah, crooked picture, exactly. Um, I'm going to send you an Instagram message and make sure you get it. It's kind of an important message. And we will um, get you set up with the guys from Pole. <laughs> And they're going to send you a bike. Not that frame. one. Oh, they're going to send you a bike frame. <laughs> yeah, good catch. Um, <laughs> it's about to go, got a lot more expensive. Um, yeah, cheers, David. Thank you so much for that. You're going to get uh, an Evo Link frame signature edition. We're going to send you a sticker pack as well. And geez, man, you're from Alberta. Let's go ride together. That, <laughs> Where's that was... Chesterfield? Ch Chestermere. Oh. <laughs> I think it's Chestermere. <laughs> Chesterfield yeah. is a piece that's of furniture. A, that's a piece of furniture from the United States. <laughs> same, same thing. Yeah, we call it a couch. <laughs> <laughs> Anyways, yeah, so awesome. Thank you, everybody, for, uh, yeah, tuning into this and all of the entries. My gosh, like, yeah. if anybody just wants to watch some really good, good stuff, even beyond the ones that we picked here, because just even narrowing it down to, like, the 20-something we had here was super, super difficult to do. So go and enter in that hashtag and check it out. Um... I don't have the link in right now, but um, go check out. Maybe we could put the link in, actually. If we were to... What's that for the... Hey, uh, Jordan. No. Jason? Jason. <laughs> Jordan, Jason. Uh, Jason, do you want to... Can you put in the link for the Lone Ranger Evo link? It'll be in the description of our last video. You can just copy and paste it there, if you're still there. But, um, yeah. Well, yeah, honorable mentions. There are, cool. I mean, like, we kind of went through... I feel like through, these were all honorable mentions. Yeah, they like, were, like, seriously, they're all so good. Yeah. I would say, like, the major honorable mentions um, is the, the, the drawing one there in the center. Yeah. That one was a big one. I really like that. This one, as far as... And the, I'm just... You guys can't see my cursor, but the one that's in the middle, anyways. Uh, like, actually fabricating stuff. <laughs> like, that's so awesome. Um, this photo really impressed me, the one in the center there. Jason's was hilarious going down the <laughs> stairs. Like, seriously, guys, it's all just, yeah. it's just all good. There was good. so many good ones. Yeah, so many good ones. That the was one, really one of your yeah, favorites. Middle but... right, that that struck me right there. I did like that one. Thank you, Jason. Thank you very much. Yeah, check out that link to check out the bike. It's pretty sweet. Um, it's a no BS bike build. Every single thing that I put into it and onto it is only for, like, shredding bikes and, like, leaving out all of, like, the fluff pieces and mm -hmm. just, like, good suspension good brakes, good tires. That's what we put all of the funds into on the bike. Mm -hmm. And then yet it still has like tons of awesome components like race face and bike yoke and all that stuff. But yeah. Yeah. All right. So thank you so much, everybody. Um, I don't know where else to go with this live stream. So I think we're just going to cap it. Yeah. I think. Um, but yeah. Congratulations. <laughs> and uh, thank you so much for entering everybody. And we will catch you on, I think, next week's video. You know what? We're going to try and take some time off. We're actually because it's been going well, wild tomorrow. Here. We are. What are we doing tomorrow? tomorrow? Night? Are we doing? Oh yeah, live yeah, stream? <laughs> yeah. No, it's true. We got another live stream, but it's on uh, Biker's channel. We're gonna be on the Biker Bar, so go check out um, Biker's like B one K E R, and uh, we're gonna be yeah on the Biker Bar. It's like a long Chatting format interview. It'll be good. Dig into all the nitty gritty. So yeah, we'll 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 see you guys there. And um, until then, cheers everybody. Thank you so much, and thank you for all the super chats. See you, everyone. Yeah.